Hey everybody, welcome back to part three of the Isla Academy tour. We got so much great footage on that second round that we had to split it up to make sure that everything was featured the way it needed to be. So enjoy the show. Let us know what you like in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Take care. See you soon. We're out here like right steps from the front door, outside of the classroom, near where students eat during lunch. And I put my desk here because I would like to be right in the center of the action. I want to be accessible to students all day. I want to see every kid who runs to the playground, every kid who comes to get uh, a supply, every teacher at all times. And while it can be wild for me, and sometimes I do need to duck into the office and do a, a personal meeting, it keeps me, it keeps my finger on the pulse. Mm. And that's really important. Bravo. All right. Hey, down the stairs here. We use rope for our rails. Mm -hmm. You can see here. We built our bulletin boards out of old pallet wood. And we come here to our office. Yes. Uh, even this... the furniture in our office is made out of recycled pallet wood. Wonderful. Uh, you're welcome to come on in here. These beautiful doors. This is where we do all the administrative work, interviews and whatnot. This is the library, mm -hmm. uh, which, you know, if this were a family home, would be the living room. Um, and all of those classrooms upstairs would have been Oh, that's right. Uh, okay, I bedrooms, see. Bedrooms, as you can see. Yeah. Uh, and this space, for many years, was like a common area. Uh, and sometimes it was just simply a library, and then lately it's been a classroom. Um, I'll show you another interesting classroom in here. Oh! When we, when we uh, first got this place, uh, this room had no windows. It had a Ooh. wall right there. Oh, wow. It had a wall right there, and it had no window here. And so everyone called it the cave. There was no good light, <laughs> and so now we've transformed it. This will be good. Okay. Oh, wow. And the Rancho. Love it. And remind me, the students mainly learn in English, Correct. but have a Spanish component. So they all take Spanish classes in addition, but all of the um, primary school classes have a first language Spanish speaker also in the class. Okay. Uh, and all of our teachers are bilingual. Yeah. So Perfect. It's there. I mean, we have. We have a lot of students who show up with limited Spanish. We have a lot of students who show up with limited English. We have a few students who show up with limited both. Both, yeah. Um, and we have a few people who can help in that regard. We have some people who speak French here. We have some, yeah. some teachers who speak German here, and they can kind of support that. Yeah, but, but it's it's the opportunity of like in our case, it's a third language. Yeah. So, yeah, cool. it's, uh, um, we we don't set um, um, for example, we don't we don't call this an immersive experience, for example, mm -hmm. because we're not going to take a kid who speaks Spanish as a first language, limited English, and then refuse to speak to them in English. And I know some schools that will do that. Uh, I get it. I understand what happens when you're under the stress of like having to learn that language, but we just take a different approach. We believe that the kids will learn it over time. They all do, they do. over time. Um, they're going to want to learn the language because their friends speak it. Um, and so we just take a slower approach here. I mean, um, with all of them. A lot of kids have shown up here with no English and then within a short period of time are feeling confident to do it. One thing that's pretty interesting about our student body here is that they're very accustomed to communicating with people of different languages, which means they don't speak super fast to a new student. They don't use a lot of colloquialisms. 
uh, they, they don't stick speak, to the basics. And they don't speak down to them. So, yeah. you know, if someone were to show up to my hometown and attempt to uh, try to speak another language or speak broken English, it might be taken in a different way than it would be here. People are super accustomed to that. Yeah. It's an international town. Garden started here. Yeah. You can see we haven't added the palm leaves up here yet, so it's still feel, this is how it would feel upstairs. Yeah. Um, so we used to be, we grew so quickly in our second year that we had to expand to an apartment across the street. And it was super cheap, it was right across the street, and we, st we stuck um, a couple, some of our older classes there. And it was so cheap and convenient that we never left for like three years until one day um, the apartment complex was sold in the middle of the year. So we had to quickly figure out a solution yeah. to, because we were using it as two, two existing classrooms. Okay. So we, um, we built the Rancho and we built this. And the reason we call this place the lab is that at the time uh, downstairs was appropriated for science and upstairs our room uh, was appropriated for math. Nice. And so this became the science. Yeah. This is where we did science. I love it. Lab. It has it's taken on a few different You pretty much got a full tour of Isla Academy today. Sean, thanks so much. Now, moms and dads have watched this, maybe guardians, and they want to know what the next steps are. What what can they do if Isla is the place, they think Isla is the place for them? One of the probably coolest things about Isla is that you got a direct line to me. If you go on our website, www.islaacademy.com, if you go to our Facebook page, Isla underscore Academy. We also have a Facebook page for our second campus, Isla Academy Las Terrenas. That's right. Uh, I have an Instagram page, uh, same names as well. And uh, I believe we even have a TikTok page at this point. Oh! A YouTube channel as well. Any of those, I'm the guy. You get you yep. direct line to me. Perfect. Um, our, our billboard out front, if you take a photo of that, that's my personal phone number. Okay, so they can to. get in touch with you. That's right. So know that um, tons of resources at Isla Academy. Uh, tons of support, not only for kids, and but for parents as well. Make sure to reach out to Sean. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. Make sure you like this video and you subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next one for Welcome to My World.